morning everyone good morning please sit down okay so today we are going to start off with a very very important topic in your syllabus that is your skeletal system can you tell me whose skeleton is this human it's a human body skeleton isn't it and uh, before we go ahead can you tell me one thing that why is skeleton important for us it is helping to give us a support framework because without the help of a skeleton we will not be able to move from one place to another that is one anything else which you would like to point out yes protects our organs correct very good it helps to protect our important organs of our body which organs does it usually protect it can protect your brain it protects your spinal cord it protects your internal organs which are there in your thoracic cavity in your abdominal cavity okay that is the second point anything else where does the uh, this blood cells get generated from from your from your bones itself correct from your skeletal system itself there are bone marrows present inside okay there are jelly like structures which are present inside the bones that helps you to generate the blood cells so this is the overall function of your skeletal system now let us study the skeleton from the top anyone can tell me anyone can guess and tell me what is this top part of the skeleton known as Skull. that is known as a skull correct okay and in your skull can you see those two empty spots what are those eye they are eye sockets which organ is it protecting eyes it is protecting your eyes very good okay behind if we go have you seen this covering you can feel it touch everyone can you feel this its part is a bit hard that is your skull that is your skull and very specifically we will call this region starting from here to this part okay this is known as what this is known as cranium okay so in here in the skull region we have studied that there are joints okay which is holding the bones together can you tell me which joint is that if you know please raise your hand let me see who knows which joint is present in the top part of your skull okay rohini this is the no this is something else yes tell mam the fixed joints these are known as the fixed joints so in your skull mainly it is the fixed joints which are present but there is an exception only one part of the jaw is something that you can move who can tell me what is that yes shruti lower jaw very good it is the lower jaw you can all move your lower jaw yes or no but can you move your upper part of this skull you cannot do that very good so now this part is done it is also helping in protecting the inner part of your ear as well it is deep seated inside okay after we have completed the skull area now we will move to the next part that is your one line can you see from the back which is going right from behind the skull and going all the way down can you guess what it is if you know please raise your head ayas that is spine also known as vertebral column correct it is also known as vertebral column now my next question will be is vertebral column a solid structure or is it having some spaces in between anyone else yes udai it is having a space in between what is the function of that space can you tell me Cord. correct very good it protects the spinal cord sit down so the brain and the spinal cord are attached together if your cranium is protecting the brain that means there should be some structure which is protecting your spinal cord as well and who is doing that it is your vertebral column okay and one more thing just in front of the vertebral column can you see these structures being merged into one place out here this whole structure which is coming from the front what is that structure known as shampurna rib cage that is known as rib cage very good sit down so this is your thoracic cavity this is present right in your chest area there are certain vital organs which are there in your chest area that is getting protected by the rib cage 
some exception is there most of the bones in your rib cage you see it comes and meets at the front part can anyone tell me what is this front part known as where every bone comes and merges in rib cage sternum that is known as the sternum correct this is your sternum so most of the ribs come and meet uh, so this part is done your rib cage and this core area is done now we will move on to your arms okay can you see the two arms which are hanging from here it is also a collection of different kind of bones this upper arm area can you tell me which bone is this this is humerus correct this is humerus there are two bones from here from here, this area to this area what is this this is known as radius ulna correct and after that can you see the tiny bones which are present out here this might not be known to you let me tell you they are made up of carpals metacarpals and these are your phalanges the tiny bones which are present in your fingers they are known as your phalanges so this is your arm and one more thing in upper arm this is a which type of joint which you can rotate in all the directions that is your say it loud that is your ball and socket joint correct so this is the top part now this pelvic region is also helping in protecting of different kind of organs like your reproductive system your uh, you know excretory system and all are present out here which are getting protected also your digestive system a part of it after that we will move on to the the legs okay one of the very important bone which is present out here can you see this big sized bone out here what is the name that is known as femur, femur. correct it is the largest bone of your body this is the largest bone so both the sides we have it also you see wherever the pelvic bone is attached to your femur that is also a ball and socket joint see how nice it will be you know articulating with each other and it can rotate in all the directions right after this part can you see the two bones which are present in your lower uh, leg area what are those bones known as uh okay let me take someone else tell show in it they are known as shin and calf bone okay one more thing can you see this tiny bone which is present right at the center of these bones what is that known as kneecap or patella this is known as kneecap or patella you can all touch and see the plain structure which is out here that is your kneecap okay or your patella after this comes your feet area okay after that comes your feet area now in the feet area also it's having a number of bones present just the way you had out here so which bones are these like we had in our hands carpals metacarpals and phalanges similarly here also what is present there are tarsals metatarsals and finally the phalanges the bones which are present in your fingers those are known as the phalanges so this is the overall structure of your human skeletal system is it understood by everyone yes ma'am is there any question that you would like to ask no okay so your work will be once you get back home you are going to read through this parts very nicely and if you have any kind of queries you will definitely ask me in the next class one thank you ma'am